So Reason 7 was released just a few days ago, and in this video we are going to install it. So I'm in my propellerheads.se account. You can see I have Reason 7 there. I've already clicked download and downloaded it. You get this nice little zip file. I've already unzipped that file. So let's open up the folder, open up the other folder, and let's install Reason 7. By the way, I am running Windows 8 Pro 64-bit, uh, so that's what we'll be installing Reason on. So whenever I'm installing any sort of large audio or video program, I always like to right-click the installer icon and choose Run as Administrator. Then we'll choose OK. Next, I'll just install it to the default location. That looks all right for now. Create a desktop icon. That's fine. Next, and install. So now Reason 7 is installing. I'll, of course, speed this up so you all don't have to sit through the whole thing and I'll catch you on the other side. And there we go. Reason 7 has been installed on on Windows 8 Pro 64 bit. So now we'll click finish. Bada bang. Minimize that. And here's our nifty little shortcut. Another thing I like to do when launching audio applications, especially audio applications that can be intense on your processor or memory, instead of just double clicking, I like to right click and choose run as administrator. And an even better thing to do would be to go to properties or go to compatibility. And I'll check this box, run this program as an administrator, click apply. All right, now we can double click this and it will automatically run as an administrator. Or we can right click it and choose it, it doesn't matter. There we go. So let's see if it works. So here's your license agreement. Click agree as long as you agree. And then you can choose run in demo mode, run with internet verification, or register and authorize.